Hey, I'm Dr. Paul Dyer. Welcome to Dr. Paul Weekly Podcast. I'd like to thank all my listeners and all my sponsors for um, helping me, support me, and friends and family, and all the people around the world who listens to my podcast, who's been sharing them, and I've been getting some great responses. I'd like to say thank you. You know, without each other, we can never spread the education of love and desire and passion that we have for just creating a better world. So I want to get into my weekly talk here with Dr. Paul. And I want to talk about how we have um, unresolved emotional experiences. And, in, and if you understand that m- most, of, most of your experiences are, are sitting in your subconsciousness. So we go through so many things in our life. And we don't know how to put them into categories. We try to put them into um, different events and circumstances and situations, and then we try to play them back. And the the your emotional education, your emotional subconscious doesn't really work that way. But if you have unresolved emotional experiences, things that you know that are blocking you up, and you've heard me talk about this before with the five E's, you have um, things that things education, environment, um, experience, um, energy, right, and emotions. These are the things that can be cleared up through your own practice. Okay, so and if you have unresolved emotions, write them down. Now they do this and at the wall here and 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 at the in Jerusalem when they want to put a prayer wall and and we do this and we light candles if you like candles if you're if you're a catholic and then but there's there's certain ways we can we call sin prayers up and we can do this with emotions too so if you write them down you know tesla says if you think of energy and emotion as an energy a vibration because everything is made up of energy and I believe in that because the vibration you have in your body and the signals of the cells and how your body responds, it's always vibrating. It's always signaling. It's always transmitting. We're just a huge, big transmitter. Okay. You can learn that from some of these sci-fi movies where just like, hey, the Matrix, you know, we're a big energy battery. We are full of electrical impulses. And that is just so powerful. So if you think of um, putting something down on a piece of paper, and it's a it's an emotional attachment that is vibrating. And if you put it on paper, the paper doesn't absorb the energy. So let's not let's not get a little bit crazy or twisted it the paper doesn't absorb the energy but your subconscious connects with your consciousness as you write and that's why writing things down when you're studying or learning it it it, it transmits between both hemispheres so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get thing from one hemisphere to the other hemisphere the other energy to the another energy and then this way it connects putting it in on paper, right? And then taking that paper, if it's a negative, and burning it, setting it on fire, throwing it away, putting it down the river. You know, that uh, you may have heard this before, you may have seen it before, it's, it's a way of getting rid of it. Does it get rid of the energy, negative energy? No, And it, but it gives your conscious mind an understanding that it's leaving you. It's going away from you. It's a blessing you, you're allowing it to pass on. You know, the, one of the best things to explain it is that if, if people have children, if you ever had a children or a friend who sends you a, a birthday card or a written card, you know, and I know a lot of people send emails and texts nowadays, but some of those cards that people write or know people write, you can feel the love, even the postcards, right? You can feel the love that comes through the things that's written to you. It's the same principle. If you can feel love from a car being written to you or one of those drawings and paintings you get from your child when they were young, you know, saying, wish happy this or happy that, it's that emotional connection you get from the car. There's an energy transference. Well, you can do that 
also in reverse. So that's why if you just take your time and then you allow yourself to um, transmit that energy, that negative energy, and let it release from you, let it get out of you. Because remember, all, all, of, life, all of life is an energy source. It's a vibration source. It's frequency. Right? I want you to delve into those frequencies. Understand how those frequencies are maybe, maybe mixing you up. And they're just a little bit off balance. And if they're off balance in your emotional mind, you're going to be off balance in your physical mind. And if you're unbalanced in your physical mind, you're going to be unbalanced in your emotional body. And you're going to be unbalanced in your physical body. And there are sicknesses, depression, and all types of frustration. So take these little bits and pieces. Take them, use them. And I want to say, again, thank you for listening to Dr. Paul. You can always catch me on drpaulholisticsciences.com. And I wish you all a great week. God loves us all.